A lot of you hanging on. Again, the number to dial, 888-ASK-INC, numerically, 888-275-4265. First up, Scott, listening in Austin, Texas. Hi, Scott. Hi, Hank. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I'm sitting here with a, a wonderful friend of mine. That um, She's a 76-year-old Jewish woman, and I was able to give her one of those Bible Answer books, and, and she uh, is, is ecstatic with what, what you've been able to teach mm. me or teach her. And um, one of the uh, questions that it's hard for me to find the answers to is similar to something a lady asked you a couple of days ago is, uh, you know, she loved her parents, and they were God-conscious people, but they weren't necessarily Jesus-conscious people. And so one of the questions that she's asked me uh, is, you know, she wants to know, will she ever see them again? Did they make it to heaven? And I, my answer to her was, if God looks on the heart, you taught me to say that he is a, uh, he has wisdom beyond what we see in the physical, but their heart is. But you go ahead and take it from there, because I, I just wanted to hear your answer. Too. Thank, thank you so much, yes, Scott, sir. and uh, my, my regards. I love you, brother. <laughs> thank you. We all love you so much. Thank you, and uh, my regards to your uh, wonderful Jewish friend. Look, uh, you know, the first thing I always want to say in this regard is that I would place um, the, uh, the, the, the parents or the grandparents of your friend in the hands of an infinitely just and infinitely merciful God. Now, one thing that we know for certain is that if we seek after truth, we will receive truth. Now, obviously, uh, the people in the, in the Old Testament didn't have the kind of requisite knowledge that we have as New Testament Christians, but uh, they looked forward to the coming Christ with types and shadows. So uh, they were in a, a, a state of uh, 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 or condition in which they didn't know. Uh, everything and 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 the real issue now becomes: Is your heart one that seeks after God, or is your heart one that loves darkness? Because those ultimately are the only two possibilities. There's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. And what is so beautiful about our Lord is that if you seek after Him, if you diligently pant after Him, like. A deer pants after water brooks. Uh, then uh, you will receive not only more in terms of intellectual knowledge, but you will experience our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and that's the most wonderful thing of all—to experience Him. And you know, I won't go into a lot of detail, but today He is more real than the flesh upon my bones. Uh, so I know He exists not only in the intellectual sense but in the experiential uh, sense. So, uh, again, I, I would leave everyone in the hands of an infinitely just and merciful God who loved humanity so much that he didn't just reveal himself in the stars, such that when you look at the heavens, the glory of God becomes self-evident, but he did something else. He sent Jesus and, and, and we can know him if we're open to knowing him. Now, do we know all the details? I mean, look, I don't know all the details. And many other people don't know all the details. But I am just desirous of being a participant in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And as a result, he reveals himself more and more fully to me. Uh, as time goes on. So you know what I would do? Uh, you said something, Scott, that was just so beautiful and profound. Um, it, it was about prayer. And, and, and I would apply what you said about prayer uh, to those people. I would be praying for those who are yet in the flesh that they may come to a true valuation of things and love the kingdom of light more than the kingdom of darkness, because if they do, they'll receive not only the light of creation, but the light of conscience, which is already imprinted on their hearts, which will lead them to the light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 